I'm Jada Williams in Lakeland. A Lakeland nurse is now facing charges. Deputies say she poisoned her next door neighbor's two cats and pregnant dog, all three of them dying. It's been a long four months for one Lakeland family, mourning the loss of their two cats, Luna and Pancake, and their dog, Daisy, who was pregnant with eight puppies. The family shared these pictures with us, but declined to go on camera. The children and all of the victims of the family are devastated because on August 16th, the three of these died, and they died because they were poisoned. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says the person responsible for poisoning the pets, their neighbor, Tamisha Knighton. She says she's a registered nurse. The state of Florida shows that she's a registered, licensed, practical nurse, okay? We call her an IJN, an in-the-jail nurse, because of her conduct. Sheriff Judd says Knighton had previously threatened to poison her neighbor's pets for coming onto her yard. I visited Knighton's home to hear her side. No one answered. When we talked to Tamisha over this period of time, she totally lied about everything. She said, I do put chicken out to feed the neighborhood animals because I care for them. Deputies uncovered video from Knighton's own camera. Parts of the video show her walking near her neighbor's home. Another clip showing here what they determined is Knighton placing a white styrofoam bowl down, then putting a black substance in the bowl. Well, why would you be wearing rubber gloves to handle food that you were just putting out because you like the animals? When we ask, well, will we find any other substance in this chicken? She said, well, just my special seasoning. Well, her special seasoning was folate. Polk County Sheriff's Office sent those samples to three different universities, including one in Michigan and Texas. They all came back positive for folate, which is a pesticide found inside insecticides. They say they believe that is what caused all three animals to die. In Lakeland, Jada Williams, ABC Action News.